that to the mic. There he is. Nice fish. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Come on, baby, don't come off. Please don't come off. Yeah. Woohoo! Bye yow! That's definitely 12. Get up in there, you don't need a call tag. East Pearl. Hey, good little crowd today. The tide falling? Huh? Just a little, isn't it? Okay. The tide is falling a little. The uh, morning tournament mornings. All excited about today. I'm gonna run you over. Wherever you going, I'm gonna run you over. <laughs> Eliminate <the> competition. <laughs> That'd be the only way you're gonna get around here. Run over me. <laughs> I don't know. With a little bit of falling tide, I might go down in the marsh for a little while. Yeah. Good luck, Joe. Thank you, Here we are at our first spot. Fires and lunkers this morning out of East Pearl. Ran here in the Mississippi side because it got a little bit of a falling tide this morning. That's what I'm hoping to capitalize on this morning. It's a little that little falling tide here in the marsh. And uh, see if we can't get something spooked up. My other spots usually tend to work a little better during a rising tide, so we're gonna start here. Beautiful sunrise though. Pretty. Well, let's get at it. Try to catch some fish. Three o'clock weigh in, so we got a long tournament, but every minute counts. That tide is barely, barely moving. It should still be here though. Nothing here. Nothing here but mullet. Lots of mullet, you see them? Lots of mullet. Super clear water. And go back to this little neighborhood here. See if we can get anything to bite.
I got some really good fish in this area. But I'm not sure if they've moved up yet or not. Last week it was looking pretty good. Let's see what these water temps are now. It's 80 degrees. Looking at 80 degree water temp. That's pretty darn nice. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. I made a mistake coming over here. Oh, damn. He just hit it. Oh, he just hit it. Damn, he's right there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he saw me or not. So close in this clear water. I hope he didn't see me, but he hit. Right where I had that other fish last week. All right, I think it's gonna be a reaction bait kind of day. Like how stagnant it looks in there. <coughs> looks horrible. <coughs> it's horrible in there. Ain't nothing going on around here. They're not moved in here yet. If they were, we'd already caught a bunch of them. in here. At the second spot, hit the first spot, and uh, not really any luck. Had one bite. I think it might have been that one I missed last week. Good one. But other than that, it was just no action back there, no, nothing. So at the second spot here, this is a little bayou way out at the mouth of East Pearl, right by Lake Bourne. Uh, I'm going to try something different. See if they're here. It's got a nice falling tide. Uh, if, if I don't get nothing here soon, then... Guess I'm gonna head up river or head towards the uh, West Pearl, try to get a little more fresh water. Last week it was one out of the Mississippi side, close to where I was this morning. So I think it can be done, water was higher then. But I just, I couldn't find them over there. So here I am, I'm gonna try it here in the marsh. I 
think he's 12 though. Pretty sure it's a 12 inch limit. And hell, he ain't even 11. Two of them here in this little pocket that I had on, and I don't think that second one was 12 either. They got to be 12 in this tournament, 12 inches. But that's a good sign, at least. But unfortunately, most of these fish are probably going to be right about that same size. weed through a bunch of them to get a limit. You ever notice how them birds sound like they're laughing at you? <laughs> you suck. Her down too long in one spot. Gotta keep on moving. Nice fish, nice fish. Oh yeah. Come on, baby, don't come off. Please don't come off. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> mm. Bye yow. That's definitely 12. Up in there. You don't need a call tag. Mm. I'm talking about, son. Get off up here. There might be some more. I saw she was barely hooked, so I didn't want to. A boat flipper. I was afraid I was gonna rip the, the hook right out, so I bent down and got her. You got cool, clean water coming out of that ditch under them highs and then it's going right along this bank. And I think that's why he was there. That's a good way to get your first one in. We got some more ditches we gotta go run. I 
Alrighty, that one there, this drain here drains out. You can see the dark water coming out of it. And I fished this downward side, down current side of the drain, fishing that dark water. And I got that good one. I got two others right here in the drain. This is the last pitch here, I'm about to leave. Oh wait, wait, that's a fish. Yep, yeah, that's a fish. There's another good one. There's another good one. Oh yeah. There's another good one. Maybe not, maybe I'm not about to leave. Whew. another good one but that was on the up current side interesting three more like that and <laughs> we'll be set pretty good caught him right there in them reeds just north or just up current of the The, uh, cut. He was back in them reeds. Definitely all figuring something out here though. And I'm sorry this wind noise is probably getting y'all. I think he's 12. Hope he's 12. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. He might be twelve. Oh, I hope so. Yes, sir. He is twelve. It's the other call tag. One more. He's 12. Looks like he's 12. Please be 12. Oh, yeah, he's 13. Got my limit, boys. Oh, finally. So, boom. There. That's good. All right. Who has a limit, boys? I need to get a bigger one.
Boat six. Boat six. Right. Five. Yeah. Five fish. All black and Yeah, you beat Larry. Uh -huh. Five alive. Two good Eight forty one. Eight forty one. Fired up on it today, didn't you? Yeah. That sucker's got shoulders. Uh, big fish. Yeah. yeah. Three fifty five. Shoulders, huh? Good job. All right, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. As y'all can see here lately, I've been struggling catching a fish here and there, you know, a fish or two each day. But it was really nice to get out there and just get on them. I struggled a little bit in the beginning, as y'all saw, but once I figured them out, I was able to just run that pattern. And I caught a lot of fish and a couple of nice ones too. But my secret to the day was fishing drains that nobody else fished nobody else would see and the way I was doing that is I'd use my old Navionics card and I'm not sponsored by these people but I have two Navionics cards I have a new one and an older one the new one doesn't have satellite map the old one does and I was able to use that to look and find the drains and when I get to them if it's a big drain that you can see I wouldn't even bother fishing it there's no fish there everybody has been hitting it but when you find that drain that you can't see, you literally got to get on the trawl motor and look and look for that dark water coming out. That's the ones they were at. And I was able to run that pattern using that satellite map. That's where I caught all my fish. Heck, in one drain, I caught four keepers. So had a blast. As y'all saw, all my fish came off of a black and blue beaver style bait. Excuse me. 5 watt extra wide gap hook, half ounce tungsten, pegged with a bobber stopper. Just a simple old river rig, flipping up into the reeds and into the hyacinth. Uh, I mostly concentrated on the down current side of the drains, from the drain down a little bit where that black water was going through the reeds. That was the best places. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe, share it with your friends. Check out some of my older videos and I'll see y'all guys out there.